Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Today we're going to be getting a message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. We're going to see what is going on, where he's at in his world, his life, his journey, and just get some messages from him to the Divine Feminine. Now, um, really quickly, guys, I just announced in my video yesterday in case you didn't see it, that I know many of you guys are at home, have a lot of extra time on your hands, or really taking this time to, you know, do things that you don't normally get to do. And um, in honor of that, to support you guys, I have offered up a special offer for my Soul Growth Accelerator subscription. This is where those of you that are on a slow growth journey, you want to learn how really to stay on track in your light as you navigate the 3D world and what better time to spend on something that is empowering and helps you understand where you might be having fears and um, your shadow sides come up during this, this time of transition, this time of uncertainty that we're living in. So um, the link to get more information on that is down below. I don't want to take too much time here, but there is a Q&A library in there that I've put together. And interestingly enough, there's a couple of questions specifically to how to stay in your light when everything around you in the 3D world is chaotic and sad and um, not good. So if you're interested or have been interested, now would be the time to lock in that 40% off price uh, that would last the duration of your subscription. So with that, guys, um, let's just get started and get some messages. Where is the Divine Masculine at in life now in general? Where is he? Ooh, he's opening his heart to joy. This is about, um, you know, really having gone through a period of time where there's... I'm going to pull the other cards first, but... Um, as well but we're getting the higher perspective well here he is opening up to the beauty in whatever he's experienced this is where he has seen um, the purpose and the reasoning behind why he has experienced what he's experienced he's in a massive time of awakening here this is also about unity so unity of self unity with the feminine opening his heart to understanding the greater purpose of why he's here and what else is going on for the Divine Masculine in his life in general right now is Starseed. What lights you up? It's so interesting because I was actually um, shuffling the deck earlier and then the cards kind of flipped and split into two different parts of the deck. And I looked at the bottom and the Starseed card was there. So this is coming out twice now. Once off camera and now here with you guys. So... This is about looking at really what matters in your life. The divine masculine energies in the collective, not just if you're looking at this from a sacred union or relationship standpoint, the divine masculine energies within all of us are truly aligning with our purpose, with our mission, aligning with what we're here to do that's meaningful, that's joyous, that is um, abundant. And how can we serve others? So this is so in alignment with what I've been getting in all my other readings, specific to the Divine Masculine in general, is truly opening up and seeing the light about where he's supposed to go next. So let's get some more and get going here with uh, some more info. So let's see where he is. I actually feel like using this deck. Let's take a look at where he is specifically regarding union, sacred union with the feminine. And I'm, you know, you guys know I always teach about what looking at masculine and feminine energies from your inner journey within self, uniting the masculine and feminine within self. The divine masculine and feminine energies, not distorted masculine and feminine energies. In fact, there's a lot of what I teach in my Soul Growth Accelerator is understanding the difference between distorted and divine masculine and feminine. How do we know when we're when these things are showing up? But what's important is um, when you watch any of these videos, really take a look at it from two different lenses to see the masculine side of yourself. But let's see where the masculine is specific to union with the divine feminine right now. What does he want her to know about where he's at? He's also looking at the bigger picture, right? He's seeing the higher purpose here. I mean, two cards about looking at things from a higher perspective. He's awakened to this journey. He is awakened to the greater purpose behind your guys' experience and existence together. So... 
And I think that's, uh, oh, Jaws, that, does, that doesn't even belong here. That's the wrong deck. I have to put my decks, <laughs> to put my decks on top of each other because I don't have enough room here. I have too many decks. I need more shelves. All right, so this is all one deck here. All right, perfect. So let's get more about where he's at specific to union with the feminine. So here he is becoming enlightened. He's become enlightened completely about what what this whole thing is all about. And let me get another card for where he's at in the Wheel of Fortune. See, he knows this is his destiny. He knows that this is his, um, a new cycle is beginning where he has now seen the truth about what the purpose is of a sacred union, divine union, and his um, connection with the divine feminine. So, um, wow, okay. Again, very consistent with what's been coming through in the um, extended readings I've been doing and the other readings here on this channel. So let's actually take a look at what he's consciously thinking about the divine feminine right now. Wow, he couldn't even wait to get this card out. Communication wanting to talk, wanting to communicate, wanting to share what he's learned about his journey. Oh, and there's that page of pentacles. So here he is with that communication again, ready to communicate how it's time to do things differently in his life. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then the six of cups and the ace of wands. This is what he's consciously thinking about the divine feminine right now is let's try things. Let's, I'm ready to do things differently. I'm ready to go where I've never been before. The page of pentacles is the card that can come up sometimes when we have learned and mastered a certain skill set and we're ready to challenge ourselves more. We're ready to learn. We're ready to grow. This can sometimes indicate that, um, somebody who's going back to school or to learn a new skill. That's what he wants to do here is he knows that it's time to do things differently. And he clearly is feeling very nostalgic and romantic and very passionate about his divine feminine. Lots of passion here with these eight wands. That is like, that's intensity. And this passionate new beginning that's aligned spiritually, the wands do represent your spiritual path, your passions, what you're truly, your purpose, what you're really meant to do here. And he's aligned here and he wants to tell her that he knows that his purpose is to reunite with the feminine. Show unconditional love. Experience unconditional love. Wow. Let's see what he's um, consciously feeling in his heart space for the feminine. So we're getting, he wants to apologize for his indecision in the past with this page of cups. He's ready to tell her how he feels, yet he's uncertain how she'll take the message. And his 10 of pentacles in the heart space, that happy family, that abundance, and the lovers. Are you kidding me, you guys? Spirit is on a roll today. Um, very strong, very clear messages. Look at these cards, you guys. He's He knows the truth. He knows that he has a higher purpose here. He knows he's here to do important work. And part of that important work will be aligning with the feminine because the gifts of the masculine and the feminine in union together exponentially increases their ability to impact the world in a positive way. So a lot of times when sacred union happens is they can embark on mission work together. They can embark on a greater purpose together. But even if they do separate missions the fact that their energies are combined in sacred union and in intention is going to amplify the energy for both the masculine and the feminine. If we're talking about the individual people that are representing those energies, right? So um, look at where he is in his heart space. He knows she's this spiritual partner. He knows in his heart that this it's time to make this happen legitimately and tangibly with this um, Ten of Pentacles. It's right under this page of pentacles. Let's do things differently. Let's make this happen. This is like an initial offer, initial communication even. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? You know, um, because he's definitely feeling apologetic here about the fact that he didn't see the truth before. But also from a higher spiritual perspective, the masculine does understand that everything happened the way, exactly the way it was supposed to happen. 
that there were lessons and detours and karmic lessons, karmic relationships that needed to be experienced in order to get to this point where he now has seen the enlightened truth. Wow, okay, so let's see, um, and look at the emperors at the bottom of the deck. That's the divine masculine right there, taking the lead, ready to do it. So let's take a look at what energies could be challenging the divine masculine right now. So what does he want the feminine to understand about what he's being challenged with at the moment? So we're getting the sun card, followed by the magician, followed by the fool. Wow. It feels like what the, the challenge right now for the masculine is truly aligning. Look at these are all major arcana. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana here. Um, that's a lot in just a few tarot cards on the table. There's only 22 major arcana in the whole deck of 78. So you can see how significant that is because that's the big spiritual messages when the major arcana come in. So the challenge I feel like he's having is really knowing, like being on the brink of making this happen, but then being on the brink and really trusting the journey, trusting that this is his ultimate path to happiness, um, knowing that he can make it happen, even though he doesn't really know what he's doing. Um, and I don't mean he doesn't know what he's doing in that he's incompetent. What I mean he doesn't know what he's doing is he's in going into uncharted territory right now. He's embarking on a brand new journey here. Um, that's requiring him to have faith and to trust in the divine path ahead of him. Um, and the fool, you know, he packs very lightly. He's just got his little sack and his little rose and he's got his loyal dog with him. He doesn't carry a lot with him. So he's trusting that he will come across the solutions, the resources, the support that he needs on this journey. Um, but so what's challenging for some of the, them, this could be, there's something specific possibly to children involved with what's making this a little bit difficult to move forward, but that's not for everybody. To me, this more feels like it's an alignment with his path and the ability to make things happen, even though he's kind of going, going in blind in a way, because this is new territory. He's never been in the presence of sacred feminine in her power together as a team he's been around plenty of distorted feminine energy and distorted masculine energy but this is where the divine feminine energy is new territory and this is where they're coming together to learn what they're meant to learn and to continue to grow even stronger let's get another card about what might be challenging him at this time and guys, I will be doing an extended where if this is resonating, um, I will be going into the extended. We're going to get a lot more messages from the masculine to the feminine. Um, what he's thinking and feeling about their dynamic in particular, what he's afraid of, what his heart is telling him, what he's consciously working on, what's unconsciously affecting him at this time, and so much more. So if this is of interest, the link is always down in the description box below. Um, if there is an extended, the link is always in the box below. But let's get another message of what he is, um, energies, what he's being challenged with right now is be bold and make the first move, right? You guys, as you know, you can't make this up. Making the move is what's challenging him, is just getting the courage to just go for it. Um, oh, and it just feels like such a sweet energy because... It's all good, Divine Masculine. It's all good ahead of you, but it's up to you to do this. It's up to you to make this move because um, it's part of your journey to learn what happens when you trust your guidance, your intuition, your path, and you, and you go forward with what you're supposed to do despite the fears. It doesn't mean the fears go away. The mass, divine masculine feels the fears, but doesn't let it stop him from doing what he's meant to do. So let's actually see what energy is supporting the divine masculine. What does he want the divine feminine to know is really supporting him right now? What energy? Oh, wishes, happiness, joy, page of swords. And the nine of swords. I love this because you know what? This has been coming up a lot and it's just making me smile because 
what is hap what is supporting him right now to make this move to to do this big move here look at this these are minor arcana these are more the day-to-day -day little things these are the big lessons and what's challenging him is embarking on this brand new journey going for it taking a risk making the move being bold to go towards his ultimate happiness the sun is the happiest card in the tarot and also represents the divine masculine the moon represents the feminine the sun represents the masculine so it's like the challenge is actually just doing it and what's supporting him are these minor arcana which are these little things like the fears the stresses i'm watching you from a distance but i don't know what to say and i'm sleep i'm i'm having some anxieties and i see my wish fulfillment look he's looking here at his wish fulfillment but he's stressing about going for it he's stressing about communicating because he's looking away from his sort of truth and he's kind of going over here like, no, I'm not looking over here. You know, I'm happy on my own a little bit, but I'm kind of not, but I'm terrified. So I hope you guys can see how what's here that's challenging him is, is like that final push over the edge, that final little nudge from the universe. And so if you're a divine masculine watching this reading and this is resonating for where you are, Look at what is here for you. Open your heart to joy. Awakening, unity, higher perspective. What lights you up? When, when the Divine Masculine does this, the strength and the empowerment that comes for him in his own journey is unprecedented. He doesn't, he's never seen anything like it. Because there's never been anything that has had more at stake than this move. And he really wants him to understand that, her to understand that. That he's like, this is not easy, but he's he's thinking about it. So um, I'm going to head over to the extended and get a lot more into what this masculine has to say. But for those of you not going on to the extended, what I'm gonna do is leave you with a final message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. And what does the Divine Masculine really want the Divine Feminine to know right now for those not going on to the extended? What is his message for her? Religious factors, he knows this is his spiritual path. He knows that this is where he's meant to be. He is being guided by the divine and he knows this and he is aligned with this. But he is afraid of this unrequited love, right? He is afraid. That's why he's having to be bold. And like I said, there's something that there's not, um, there's never been anything that has more at stake for the divine masculine than this union with the divine feminine. The stakes are high. And so it's bringing up these fears and interesting, give your relationship a chance. He's asking the Divine Feminine to give the relationship a chance once he musters up the courage to make this move. And um, he really wants to work on the partnership. He wants to go for this. So, all right, lovely souls. I hope that was helpful and heading over to the extended. Um, until next time, I send you much love. Bye.